Hello and welcome to another episode of Mind Map. Today's topic of discussion is Governor General and Vice Royce. First of all, we will we'll discuss about the introduction of the topic. Then we will discuss about Governor Generals of Bengal, Governor Generals of India, Vice Roy of India, and practice question. Moving on to introduction, Governor Generals of Bengal. When East India Company came to India, it controlled Bengal through a post named as Governor of Bengal. First Governor of Bengal was Robert Clive. Other presidencies, Bombay and Madras, had their own governor. There were four governors of Bengal, namely J. Z. Hallwell, Henry Vansittart, Harry Verisult, John Cartier. However, after the passing of Regulating Act 1773, the post of Governor of Bengal was converted into Governor General of Bengal. Warren Hastings became the first Governor General of Bengal. Other Governor Generals and important events which took place during their tenures were first Warren Hastings 1774 to 1785. During his tenure, diarchy in Bengal was ended and treasury was shifted from Murshidabad to Calcutta. Collection of revenue was taken over by the company. In 1774, Supreme Court was established in Calcutta. Pitts India Act was passed in 1784. The first Rohila War was fought in 1774. The first Maratha War, 1775 to 82, took place, and the Treaty of Salbai in 1782 was signed. Second Mysore War took place between 1780 to 1784. Lord Cornwallis. 1786 to 1793 third mysore war took place between 1790 to 1792 and treaty of seringapatnam was signed cornwallis code based on separation of powers was introduced introduced permanent settlement in bengal in 1793 europeanization of administrative machinery and introduction of civil services sir john shore 1793 to 1798 First Charter Act was introduced in 1793 and Battle of Kharda between Nizam and the Marathas in 1795. Lord Richel Wellesley 1798 to 1805 introduced the subsidiary alliance system in 1798. First alliance with Nizam of Hyderabad was signed. Fourth Mysore War 1799. Second Maratha War 1803 to 1805. Formation of Madras Presidency in 1801 during his tenure after the annexation of the kingdoms of Tanjore and Karnataka and Treaty of Basin was signed with Peshwa in 1802 Sir George Barlow 1805 to 1807 Sepoy mutiny of Vellore took place in 1806 Minto 1 1807 to 1813 sent the mission of Malcolm to Persia and Elephantstown to Kabul in 1808 Signed Treaty of Amritsar with Ranjit Singh in 1809. Francis Rodden Hastings 1813 to 1823. Anglo-Nepalese War took place between 1814 to 1816 and Treaty of Sagoli was signed in 1816. Third Anglo-Maratha War between 1817 to 1818. Bombay Presidency was created in the year 1818. Establishment of Rajyatwari system by Thomas Munro in 1820. Now moving on to Governor Generals of India the Charter Act of 1833 made the Governor Generals of Bengal the Governor General of India Lord William Bentinck was the first Governor General of India other Governor Generals of India and important events which took place during their tenures were first Lord William Bentinck 1828 to 1835 practice of sati was abolished annexation of Mysore 1831 central kachar 1832 and kurg 1834 the provincial court of appeal and circuit set up by cornwallis were abolished macaulay's minutes were presented and english was made the official language in 1835 a perpetual friendship treaty was concluded with ranjit singh charles metcalf 1835 to 1836 passed the famous press law which freed indian press from restrictions lord auckland 1836 to 1842 First Afghan War took place between 1836 to 1842. Lord Ellenborough, 1842 to 1844. Sindh was annexed in 1843 and Gwalior War took place in 1843. Lord Harding won 1844 to 
फर्स्ट एंग्लो सिख वार टुक प्लेस बिटवीन 1845 टू 1846. ट्रीटी ऑफ लाहौर वाज कंक्लूडेड इन द ईयर 1846 व्हिच एंडेड द सिख सॉवरेनिटी इन इंडिया लॉर्ड डलहौजी 1848 टू 1856. सेकंड एंग्लो सिख वार टुक प्लेस 1848 टू 1849 एंड पंजाब वाज एनेक्स्ड इन 1849. The policy of doctrine of lapse was applied in Satara, Jaitpur, Sambalpur, Baghat, Udaipur, Jhansi and Nagpur were captured. Railway minutes were introduced in the year 1853 and rail between Bombay and Thane was started. Wood's educational dispatch was introduced in 1854. Santhal uprising took place during his tenure. Widow Remarriage Act was introduced in 1856 and founded the Public Work Department that is PWT. Now let's discuss about viceroys of India. First is Lord Canning, eighteen fifty-six to eighteen sixty-two. Three universities at Calcutta, Madras, and Bombay were established in eighteen fifty-seven. Revolt of eighteen fifty-seven took place. During his tenure, the control of power was transferred from the East India Company to the Crown by the Government of India Act, eighteen fifty-eight. Indian Councils Act of eighteen sixty-one was introduced. Lord Elgin, one eighteen sixty-two to eighteen sixty-three. During his tenure Wahhabi movement was suppressed high courts at Calcutta Bombay and Madras were established in 1862 under the Sir John Lawrence 1864 to 1869 Bhutan war took place in the year 1865 Lord Mayo 1869 to 1872 Statistical Survey of India Department of Agriculture and Commerce and State Railways was established Lord North Brook 1872 to 1876 Kuka revolt took place in 1872 during his tenure prince of wales visited india in 1875 brahmo marriage act was passed lord lytton 1876 to 1880 royal titles act of 1876 was passed and queen victoria assumed the title of empress of india first famine commission was appointed in 1878 vernacular press act was passed the second afghan war took place between 1878 to 1880 An Arms Act of 1878 was passed. Lord Ripon, 1880 to 1884. The Vernacular Press Act was repealed. The First Factory Act, 1881, was passed to improve labour conditions. Appointment of Education Commission under chairmanship of Sir William Hunter, 1882. Albert Bill controversy took place during his tenure. Lord Dufferin, 1884 to 1888. The Third Burmese War took place between 1885 to 1886. Indian National Congress was established. Lord Lansdowne, 1888 to 1894. Factory Act of 1891 was passed. Civil services was divided into imperial, provincial, and subordinate. Indian Consuls Act of 1892 was passed. Setting up of Durand Commission 1893 to define the Durand line between India and Afghanistan. Lord Elgin II 1894 to 1899 Great Famine of 1896 to 1897 took place Lyall Commission of Famine was appointment Lord Curzon 1899 to 1905 Appointment of Police Commission 1902 under Sir Andrew Fraser to review police administration Ancient Monuments Preservation Act 1904 was passed Establishment of Agriculture Research Institute at Pusa in Bihar, and Bengal was partitioned in 1905. Lord Minto II, 1905 to 1910. Popularization of anti-partition and Swadeshi movements. Split in Congress in the annual session of 1907 in Surat, and foundation of Muslim League by Aga Khan in 1906. Lord Harding II, 1910 to 1916. Partition of Bengal was annulled. Imperial capital was transferred to Delhi from Calcutta. Madan Mohan Malviya established Hindu Mahasabha in 1915. Lord Chelmsford 1916 to 1921. Formation of Home Rule League by Annie Besant and Tilak. Lucknow Pact was signed between Congress and Muslim League. The Rowlatt Act was introduced. Jallianwala Bagh massacre took place. Non-cooperation and Khilafat movement were launched. Lord Reading 1921 to 1926 Chauri Chaura incident took place which resulted in withdrawal of non cooperation movement CR Das and other leaders founded the Swaraj party in 
Moplaha Rebellion took place in Kerala in 1921 and Press Act of 1910 and Rollet Act were repealed. Lord Irwin 1926 to 1931 Simon Commission was commissioned Declaration of Purn Swaraj was made during the Lucknow session in 1929 Civil disobedience movement was started with Dandi March first round table conference was held and Gandhi Irwin Pact was signed Lord Willington 1931 to 1936 Pune Pact was signed between Gandhi and Ambedkar in 1932 Socialist Party was established by Acharya Narendra Dev and others. Second and third round table conferences held. Lord Lilith Ko, 1936 to 1944. Subhash Chandra Bose resigned from the presidentship of Congress and formed the Forward Bloc. Quit India movement was launched. Lord Wevel, 1944 to 1947. CR formula was put forward by C R Das. Wevel plan was proposed and Shimla conference took place. Cabinet mission plan was proposed. Formation of interim government and direct action day was launched. Lord Mountbatten, nineteen forty-seven to nineteen forty-eight. Partition of India as per the third June plan. Independence of India Act was passed on eighteenth July, nineteen forty-seven, and India and Pakistan emerged as two separate independent nations. And C. Rajgopalachari, nineteen forty-eight to nineteen fifty. He was the last Governor General or Viceroy of India after the Constitution was implemented. The post of Governor General or Viceroy was abolished. Now it's time for the practice question. First of all, prelims question: By which one of the following acts was the Governor General of Bengal designated as the Governor General of India? The Regulating Act, the Pitts India Act, the Charter Act of 1793, or the Charter Act of 1833? You can send the answer of this question in the comment section. And now moving on to the main question. In many ways, Lord Dalhousie was the founder of modern India. Elaborate. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.